Hey everyone, it's Pisces Moonbeam and welcome to Radical Tarot. For those of you who don't know me, I post quite frequently on Rad's Facebook page, so please feel free to follow me over there if you like this video. Welcome to this video. We are going to do a pick a pile video in regards to how is she or he feeling about me slash what do I need to know right now about my love life. So first I want to say that for those of you who are new to my readings, I do tend to read for those that are undergoing either a separation or current challenges right now in their soul connection. I'm not really big on labels, be it a twin flame, a soulmate, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, anybody that you have a soul bond with that is currently undergoing challenges, this is what this reading is for. So if you feel like this does not apply to you, by all means, thank you so much for stopping by, but don't feel like you have to watch this video. But if you're interested in seeing what the cards have to say, then by all means, stay tuned. So we have pile number one, which will be the Rhodochrosonite, pile number two, Chrysocolla, and pile number three will be Citrine. I'm going to be using a few different decks in this video. One of the decks I created myself, which is right over here, called the Faded Love Oracle Deck by Pisces Moonbeam. And it will be available for purchase for those that are interested. There will be a link in the description box down below. And if you purchase, please send me an email. My email address will be there as well because I have two videos to send to you. One is a walkthrough of all 70 cards and what they mean. And the other video is how to work with the deck alone with different example spreads along with how to work with the deck using other Oracle decks. So with that said, please, sorry, with that said, please go ahead and pick your pile. Pile number one will be Rhodochrosonite, number two, Chrysocolla, and number three will be Citrine. So let's get started. For those of you who picked pile number one, let's see what is the general energy around your person right now. So we have Denial, Avoidance, Stalemate, Stagnant, and let's get a clarifying card offer. Okay. So right away, I'm feeling like whatever is happening with your person, there is something that they just don't want to admit. I am sorry about the glare. There's something that they are avoiding. They are very much aware that something is going on. They just don't want to deal with it. They're choosing, they're making a conscious choice to avoid a situation, which is keeping them stuck at a stalemate and they're not moving forward. So at the same time, we have offer. I feel very strongly like somebody is offering them either a way out or a different opportunity. Perhaps this could be an offer of love. Perhaps this could be an offer of a way that they can change a pattern which can change their life. But for whatever reason, this person does not want to see. They do not want to take off their own blindfold and see what this offer is right now. I feel like this might be multiple offers. It could be coming from you, it could be coming from other people, but for whatever reason, they're in the energy of denial right now. So let's see, how is this affecting your relationship with them right now? Sparks flying, passions ignite, curiosity, fun, and flirting. So the attraction is still there, but before I speak too soon, let's get a clarifying card bound. Okay. So for some of you, they're in denial about the fact that there is still chemistry in this relationship. And they know that the offer is there. You might be very open with this person. You might be totally aware that this person is in denial and you don't care because you're aware that the passion is still there and that the fun and the flirting and all the things that keep the relationship feeling fresh and keeping the sparks alive are still there. And in a way, this is making either the both of you or, or your person feel really bound to this passion. And this could be doing a couple of things. For one, it, it could be making them feel, again, like they're stuck. This could be, they could be in denial there they maybe they don't want to realize how strongly that they are being pulled to you and attracted to you and that's keeping them stuck and in a way it's almost like even though they don't I, I have a feeling for a lot of people watching this for who picked this pile these this their person 
the person that you're thinking about does not want to admit that the sparks are flying and that deep down they feel a strong, strong tie to you and almost like If they were to admit it, they would have to admit that they are almost like bound to this connection in so many more ways than they even thought and that this is a loaded offer here and that's why they do not want to even deal with this right now. So wow, for whoever that resonates for, it could be just one person or a group of people, but there's somebody who is just in complete denial about this energy about how strong the passion is and and they just don't want to see it but in a way they're also bound to it whether they like it or not and that's how it's affecting a relationship so what are the first things that this person thinks of when you enter their mind how are they seeing you in their headspace so there's definitely things they have not been forthcoming about there are hidden truths the secret scandal invisible details so to me right away I'm getting that This person, it's not the, okay, let me pull another card before I speak too soon. Solitude, okay. So there's definitely a lot of things that they have not been sharing with you. It doesn't have to be something that is scandalous. It doesn't have to be something where it makes them look like they've been deceptive or, or that they've been sneaky. There's just a lot of things that they aren't sharing with you, which is keeping them in a state of denial where you might not understand it. And perhaps if you knew what these things were, you would understand why they're in denial. Perhaps they're going through something that is blocking them from being able to acknowledge that the sparks are flying and that they have to deal with other things and they might not want to bring you into their crap so they're not telling you. At the same time, this card is really speaking about hidden emotions. They haven't been 100% honest with how they are feeling in regards to you and when they think of you, they're aware of this. They know that they were keeping things from you and they are taking time alone right now in solitude to figure things out and, and possibly figure out how they can express these things once they are ready in the future because they know that there's a lot that you are not able to see that they are dealing with right now and they have not expressed this to you and it has a lot to do with how they feel about you as well so let's see how are they feeling about you when it comes to their heart space so we have psychic portal intuition visions and answers And pause. So they're definitely getting some intuitive hits in regards to how they're feeling. Even though there's a blindfold on, everybody still has their own, or at least they have access to their own intuition should they choose to use it. And they are receiving answers. When they do think about you in their heart, they do still have visions of the two of you together. But right now it's on pause because they are in solitude. They're trying to figure this out. They're trying to find the answers to what it is, to how they can deal with whatever it is that they are being in denial about, whatever it is they are avoiding, they're trying to find the answers. Perhaps they just don't know. Perhaps they really just don't know and they just feel like really confused or or bound and stuck to the situation, but it's definitely on pause in their heart. It doesn't mean that they don't care. It just means it's on pause. Let's see what's going on in their 3D world right now when it comes to you. Oops. Love mending, healing after arguments, acceptance and completion. So they definitely have the desire to want to mend things with you. And for some of you, this might be going on right now, where even though they might be in denial, that you might be getting intuitive hits that this person is about to contact you. This might mean that somebody is going to contact you soon. But in the 3D world, their intentions, they, they do want to mend. They do want to heal. That They want to feel accepted. They want to complete this. They want to bring it from, from the sparks flying and the passion and the fun and flirting to, to healing, especially once you get through the, the pausing and the hidden truths. But let's get a clarifying card for that with their 3D world and love mending. So no, they still admire you very, very much. This has, I have a feeling whatever it is that they're dealing with, whatever it is that they've been avoiding has nothing to do with you. And let's just get an overall closing message to see what's the final thing that spirit wants you to know about your connection right now. 
Oh, wow. True love, trust, respect, communication, passion. That's one of my favorite cards. That, to me, is what true love is all about. And barrier. So here's the deal. The, the true love, it's it's there. Uh, to overall close off this reading, it's there. The trust, the respect, the communication, the passion, it has not gone away. It's just being blocked right now. Will it become unblocked or not? The future remains to be seen. Let's, you know what? I wanted to end this reading here, but let's just pull one more two more cards in regards to potential of unblocking right now in the near future so that we can access this true love. Frozen in time, paused, on hold, stagnant. So we have paused here now in two different from two different decks. So right now I'm getting no for the near future, but there are big dreams and in their, their psychic dreams and in their visions, they are thinking of you and they do want to mend things and they do still admire you. But right now they're just stuck and they're avoiding situations and they're going to have to come clean and explain things to you if things do move forward down the road at some point in the future. So uh, for those of you who picked pile number one, I hope it resonated with you. Let me just clear these cards and we're going to move on to pile number two. So pile number two is... Krista Cola. So let's see, what is the current energy going on right now between you? I'm oh, sorry, going on right now around your person. What are they dealing with right now? Harmony, balance, equality, and unity. And let's get a clarifying card. Victim. So I, right away, I'm feeling for those who picked this pile, this person cannot achieve the balance and equality and unity. I feel like they they're feeling like they are a victim. Perhaps their hands are tied right now and they're doing things that they want to do and not things, sorry, they're doing things that they have to do and not what they want to do. And this is bringing their life out of balance. And it, this can also go another way. They do have balance right now in their life and harmony, but it's not making them feel really help, uh, happy inside. It's making them feel like a victim where they are doing things again that they do not want to do, but that they have to do in order to keep this around. So let's see, how is this affecting your relationship? Temporary worry, all is well. Divine timing. So you know what? Uh, very simple. Whatever is going on, it's making them feel like a victim. It doesn't seem like it's going to last forever. And if you can stay patient and if they can stay patient in regards to your relationship and possibly bringing harmony and equality and unity back into it, it's all going to be on divine time. How does this person, what does this person think when you pop into their mind? What energy comes to mind? More than meets the eye, undisclosed information, action behind the scenes. So this is about a situation where there's more going on than is being shared. And there's a lot more happening than you would even probably know about. Let's get a clarifying card. The answer is yes. Okay. So for those of you that have a strong sense of a gut feeling when you think about this person and when you think about your relationship, some of you might be feeling like it's just a matter of time before things, this bubble either pops and it is what it is and, and it completes itself and, and things come clear in order to bring you two back together because a lot of you are feeling like this person is the one for you. Another message that's coming through really strongly is that for whatever your own intuition is thinking about, whatever is going on behind the scenes, if you're getting a niggle or if you're getting a feeling Whatever it is that you might be thinking about is happening, this is a confirmation that your intuition is right. The answer is yes. And at the same time, if there are things happening right now that you feel are going on behind the scenes in their, in their life that relates to you, even if it's a third-party situation, this is why they might be feeling like a victim, but the answer is yes. In short, things are happening in their mind when they think about you 
they know that there's so much going on that meets the eye and that's the impression that they gave off. But the answer is yes. They do want you in their life. They do want to have this with you. So let's see what's going on in their heart. Express your feelings, compromise and communication. Karmic partner. Okay, so for those who feel like a victim, again, this will not resonate with everybody, but for those of you that are in third party situations and your person feels like their hands are tied and they're a victim, it could be because they are dealing with a karmic partner right now. And that's why they feel like a victim and it's affecting your relationship in a sense as everything right now is on divine time. And they're aware that there's a lot more going on that more more than meets the eye but the answer is still yes in their head when they think of you like yes you're the one and in their heart they want to express their feelings but there's a karmic partner here and I feel very strongly this does pertain to a third party situation and for those of you that don't resonate with the third party situation you could be their karmic partner and they might be having a very hard time dealing with this as well but I again I will say strongly I feel like this is really about the, those that are involved with third party situations right now they this person in their heart they want to express how they feel about you but with that comes having to deal with this that could be getting in the way so what's going on right now in their 3d world when it comes to you oh new direction potential possibilities exploring guide so i feel like you know in regards to you in their 3d world yes they do want to take on this new direction there is potential there are possibilities and the answer is yes in their mind but right now there is so much more that's going on that that, that meets the eye that they're still looking for signs and this is very much connected to the divine timing card they are still looking for signs in their 3D world in regards to which direction to go in. They know they have options, but they don't know exactly where to go. And right now they are feeling very much like a victim. And perhaps this is a victim of their own circumstance and they, you didn't do anything wrong here. Let's see the potential outcome. Sorry, the overall outcome. Sorry, the overall energy right now in regards to this reading and how this person feels about you. And then we'll check out the potential outcome because we did for the other pile. So faith trust prayer belief so this person definitely thinks about you on a spiritual on a soul level they do trust in your connection and it's important for you to to trust as well they could be going through a moment where they're in solitude and they are seeking answers and they are saying prayers so they can become untied in regards to the victim card but let's get another card for clarity here to go with faith in regards to the overall energy and patience so it's twofold the message is for both of you if you believe so strongly in this connection and the answer is yes to you and there is a third party situation involved or just somebody who's getting in the way you know keep the faith right now they are having faith they are you know the, the overall energy is to have faith and have trust trust in the process trust in god give it to god you know, and have patience and know that things will work itself out on divine timing. So let's just pull two more cards just to see the overall potential outcome in regards to the situation in the near future because energy changes all the time and we all have free will. So karmic justice, karma kicks in, balancing the scales, payoffs and paybacks. Oh, wow. You can't make this up. Balance in the scales. So either way, again, if you look at the first card, harmony, it looks like it's quite balanced. And we have balance here and balance on all of these cards. And this is from my deck. So is this one, but th this one isn't. So yeah, this is a very karmic reading. There's definitely a karmic partner or perhaps a third party involved. And it's just a matter of time. Uh, for everybody to receive their karmic justice in this situation where if things things were if things were uneven in divine time they will be evened out but it's going to take a lot of trust a lot of prayer a lot of patience and really focusing on your belief systems 
So that was a pretty cool reading. I hope that resonated for those of you who picked pile number two. And we are now going to move on to pile number three. I'm just going to clean this up. So for those of you that picked pile number three, which is, oops, there it is, the citrine. Let's get some general energy, overall energy regarding where your person is at right now. Emotionally unavailable, locked out, closed off, stubbornness. And let's get a clarifying card. Release. So there's something that they've been holding onto in their heart space that's keeping them at a distance from you. It's also keeping them at a place where they are not feeling very comfortable in speaking about how they are feeling and they're holding on to something and they're keeping it locked inside and they have to find a way to release it. Perhaps they're looking for a way right now to release it, but right now it's causing uh, a lot of basically like the answer is no, even though the card doesn't say that. They're just unavailable right now because their emotions are attached to something else and they have to release this in order for them to be able to open up again. And how is this affecting your relationship? We got divine intervention, change of plans, fate and destiny. Unawakened. So this person needs to awaken in order for things to have a chance of moving forward because they are so emotionally unavailable and closed off right now. The divine intervention card, anything that's divine intervention is always positive, even if it's a blessing in disguise. Anything that's fate and destiny is just, it is what it is. And a change of plans can go either way. But right now this person is unawakened. Perhaps the divine intervention in your relationship will take them from being unawakened to awakened, but they have to release first. And if the divine intervention comes along through an event or through something that happens or that you hear about that changes the course of the relationships, it is because this person is unawakened and this is more about you and changing that than it is for them at the moment. Let's see, what does this person think about when you come to their mind? So there's a lot of clashes here. There's a lot of passion, but there's a lot of clashes. Fire and ice, collisions, clashes, different desires. So fire melts water. Sorry, water puts out fire and fire melts ice down to water. So it's counterproductive. And whenever this happens, whenever this card comes out, this is always about passion, but it gets too heated. It's too much where you just, you want different things, different desires. You're just not in the same direction right now. So they're aware of this and this can cause arguments. And this has also caused the separation right now where it, it sort of broke the connection, not all the way, but it did break this. And when they think of you and you come to their mind, they think of the, the arguments, they think of different ways where you were clashing, where you weren't having a meeting of the minds. They do remember the passion as well. And it's very much on their mind that they are not with you right now, whether you're speaking or, or not, whether you're seeing each other or not. I have a feeling like this, this is, they know that this is why you are undergoing a separation right now. How are they feeling in their heart when it comes to you? when they think of you. Spiritual alignment, renewed hope, grounding, optimism. So they're trying to get back into alignment with who they are, but they still have you in their heart in the fifth dimension. They are still speaking to you. They still believe in the two of you in their heart, but they need to find renewed hope again. They need to find grounding again. They need to find optimism again because right now they are just so emotionally unavailable and they are so locked off and closed off and they are unawakened because they're holding on to something that's keeping them stuck and they have to release it. So in their heart, they have to become spiritually aligned. And I, I do have a feeling for a lot of people watching this, you did bring that in for this person. You lit up their life. You brought color into their life. You have made them feel optimistic again about life. I feel like they were going through a hard time before they even connected or reconnected with you and you made them feel grounded and optimistic and right now in their heart they're looking for ways to spiritually align themselves so they can get through this emotionally difficult time but in the fifth dimension in 5d they are very much still connected to you so let's see what's going on in the 3d 
sorry, in their heart in the 5D. So in the 3D, they would like to heal, forgiveness, compassion, mutual understanding, and tribe. So they're, they're healing a lot of things right now. They're healing things to do with their soul tribe, the, perhaps family members. They're finding forgiveness and compassion for themselves as well. But in regards to you and your connection, they would like to heal this. And, and this bridge to healing, it's a long way, but it's also a destination. And I feel like they're very much consider you as part of their tribe. They're just in separation right now. And let's get some overall, an overall message for this reading celebrations surprises joy and abundance and we got stuck so it's it's counteractive it's like the fire and ice it's like when things are good things are really really good and you never know what's going to happen next in a very fun and exciting way but right now you we cannot have the the celebrations because everybody or at least your person is stuck right now because they're so emotionally closed off and let's just get two final cards in regards to the potential in the future. So your person's going through a dark night of the soul, spiritual quest, buried pain and lost. And the final card for that is received. So look, they get it. They, they're they receiving it. They're dealing with it. They're aware they're unawakened. They are aware the need to release. They are aware about the clashes. They've received it all. Everything you've said to them, everything you've tried to do, they have received your messages. But right now they are focusing on healing and they are focusing on on their tribe. So I hope this reading resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I wish you all a beautiful end of your day, end of your weekend, end of your week. This video will, I probably should have said this at the beginning, but we're going to do this for August 24th to August 30th. How does this person feel about me? Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.